Flyer is of course a must at Eurobike 2024. In this video, we will take a look at the new models for you. Behind me is the brand new Flyer Upstreet TRCF, one of the innovative new models with the Pinion MGU. When commuting, you are traveling longer distances, which always means you also want to ride comfortably. Flyer pays special attention to this by equipping the bike with a high-quality, durable SR Suntour suspension fork. It comes with a travel of 60 millimeters. It's not a huge amount, but it definitely helps to absorb small shocks and bumps on the road. This then provides a noticeable comfort effect while riding. Additionally, there is a suspended and retractable seat post. This is also a feature that allows you to sit on the bike for extended periods of time without anything going numb. Of course, there are ergonomic grips on the handlebar, so you can easily cover kilometer after kilometer without any discomfort. Safety while commuting is also incredibly important. Safety primarily means having reliable brakes. Here you will find a very high quality disc brake system from Magura. Additionally, you have a brake light. A really excellent front light from Supernova is also installed here. The Flyer TRCF comes with a folding lock as a standard and a really sturdy one from Abus. In this case, it is installed here on the down tube. However, there are also mounting points here to actually attach the lock to the mud guard. Then you gain space here, for example, for a bottle holder or for other accessories that you might want to attach there. You can simply move it from here to here. If you have looked closely, you may have already noticed that there are no weld seams or anything similar on the frame. This doesn't mean that Flyer has ground them away but rather that this frame is completely made of carbon. It is one of the very few models in Flyer's range with a carbon frame. What stands out here is that you have an electric bike with a carbon frame, yet the maximum permissible total weight is still an impressive 150 kilograms or 330 pounds. That is indeed a relatively high value for this frame material, and not every manufacturer can actually achieve that. The Flyer Upstreet TRCF is available in two versions, as a regular pedelec and also as a speed pedelec. Behind me is the speed pedelec version. You can recognize it by the mirror mounted here and also by the license plate holder at the back. Both the speed pedelec and the standard pedelec are available in two colors. Here you can see the jasper green satin, an absolutely beautiful matte green shade that also shimmers a bit blue. Additionally, the bike is also available with a silver gloss color, a shiny silver tone, for those of you who might prefer something a bit brighter. New second bike with a Pinion MGU is the Flyer Gorok TR. It has almost the same name as the Gorok TRX, which was presented at Eurobike last year, and this X actually makes a big difference. The TR has now undergone a few changes. Namely, we're talking about a hardtail e-bike this time, whereas the TRX was a full suspension e-bike. The TR features an aluminum frame, and here a slightly different Pinion MGU has been installed, specifically the one with nine gears, not 12. The Spectrum or the gear range is almost exactly identical for both of the drives. The nine speed variant is only, I believe, approximately about 30, at most 40% behind the top model. However, with nine gears, it's clear that the gear shifts are slightly larger, but still at around 560% of gear range, it's a figure that can really compete well compared to many other gear systems. If you recall the Upstreet TRCF, which we just introduced to you, the Gorok TR falls somewhere between that and the Gorok TRX. As mentioned, it's a hardtail e-bike, but it does have a suspension fork with 100 millimeters of travel, which is significantly more than the Upstreet TRCF, for example. That means you're also very well prepared for off-road terrain here. This is no longer just a pure commuter e-bike or anything like that. It can absolutely pass as a touring e-bike, which is great for long rides, or perhaps even as an extremely sporty city e-bike. You are definitely well prepared when it comes to heading into the woods, across meadows, gravel paths, or just off the main road in general. This works very well, and we have already discussed the drive system. It offers you so much choice that it finds an appropriate gear ratio making it completely irrelevant where you are currently riding. Maybe you are currently on the flat and you can easily pick up speed, ride in a high gear, or maybe you are going uphill, needing a suitable low gear along with the motor to get up properly and without breaking a sweat. You will definitely get that here. A bit surprising is that this model even has a larger battery than the Upstreet TRCF. Here, 
there are actually approximately 800 watt hours of capacity inside. This means great ranges for you. Another excellent reason why this bike actually makes a truly good touring e-bike. That goes basically for everyone, because here we have three frame shapes that Flyer essentially offers. Behind me is the variant with a low step-through frame, but you also have the mixed variant, which is a kind of trapeze frame, and also the gents variant, as Flyer calls it. This is basically the bike with a diamond frame, a classic men's frame, as you know it. You can get all three frame shapes in two different colors, either in this white, as it stands behind me, or in a very dark tone, which would be more like black, or at most anthracite. So when it comes to the frame shape and colors, you have a certain selection. However, the bikes are actually equipped in an identical manner. This means that details such as the brakes, the display installed, the suspended and retractable seat post, or the angle adjustable stem are all present on each of these models. That also means that the price is essentially the same. So we're looking at approximately 5,999 euros. By the way, the frame also includes a small but important detail for everyday use. The bike is approved for carrying a bike trailer. This means you can attach a trailer here, which can even be loaded up to 40 kilo. Of course, you definitely need to make sure that you do not exceed the system weight. A maximum of 150 kilograms is allowed. If that doesn't conflict with the trailer and what you load into it, then you can simply use it in everyday life. You can put your kids in it, or transport all kinds of things, like groceries or anything else. And this gives you many new options in various situations and scenarios in everyday life, especially in an urban environment that you wouldn't have without a trailer. So, for model number three, the third new release, we're actually going to get down on our knees for you. I hope I can keep this up until the end of the video. Behind me is the GoTour EL, a new trekking bike from Flyer. This is added to a range where the Flyer Go Tour already offers a really good and well-regarded trekking e-bike. The EL is more intended for beginners. Prices start at 3,999 euros. With this model, it is now the case that, conceptually, it is actually the exact opposite of the GoRock TR. There we had three different frame shapes, but identical technical equipment. Here, we have a single frame design, specifically the low step-through frame, which is available in quite a few different technical configurations. The GoTour EL, as mentioned, comes in three variants. The GoTour EL 3.12 XC, the 3.20, and the 3.40. And here's the GoTour EL 3.20 model. You can easily and quickly tell all three apart simply by just looking at the specific gear system that is installed. With the 3.20 version here, behind this is the Enviolo, the stepless hub gear, here in the mechanical version. This means you have a twist grip shifter and shift manually as usual. No automatic gear shifting yet, but still stepless. This means there is no fixed gear ratio. You can take full advantage of the entire range that the hub offers. And therefore, you always have great options to find exactly the right gear ratio for your current riding situation. The gearing system also, to a certain extent, somewhat defines the primary purpose for which the bike is intended. The Enviolo is therefore more suited to paved paths, asphalt, and urban environments. The tires also support this. Here we have a road-approved Schwalbe Road Cruiser Plus with reflective stripes, puncture protection, and so on. You can already see that it is really intended for the road. In version 3.12 XC, firstly, we have a different wheel size. Here in the 3.20 variant, it is 29 inches. In the 3.12 XC, it is only 27.5 inches, and there you have installed the Schwalbe G1 all-round tire. So it's more of a tire that feels comfortable both on the road and off-road and manages this balance quite well. There's still the third model, right? If you've been paying attention. The 3.40, it is equipped with a five-speed hub gear from Shimano, the Nexus five-speed as you know it, which is approved for e-bikes, and then again with a tire that feels most at home on the road. A small note regarding the 3.12 XC, it has smaller wheels, Schwalbe G1 all-round tires, and also with a derailleur to emphasize a bit more of the sporty character, as it is more of a touring bike. Cargo is, of course, very important for such a trekking bike. To start with, you have a very reliable rear cargo or pannier rack. It can carry a load of 27 kilo or around 60 pounds. Here you also have the side struts. 
to which you can conveniently attach various pannier bags. If the rear luggage rack isn't enough for you because you want to transport even more, there is an option for a front luggage carrier. Here, there is installed the front luggage rack on the model with an additional basket on top. In this combination, I believe it would cost you around 110 euros for the accessories. I personally think the total amount is actually a pretty good investment because it can easily hold another 10 kilos of weight and you can clearly see that it is also big enough. There are several rubber bands here that ensure everything you put in stays securely in place. And there's even a really practical bottle holder where this soda fits extremely securely and won't fall out even while riding. What is important, of course, is what kind of motor is actually installed. Smart system from Bosch, that's kind of obvious. However, here it's the Bosch performance line, not the CX version but the basic performance line with 75 newton meters of torque. From our perspective, that is more than sufficient for a trekking bike. Flyer installs the Intuvia 100 as an additional display here. You also have the mini remote for operation. Regarding the frame, it might be important to mention that it is an aluminum frame and the first aluminum frame that Flyer has manufactured in Portugal. Flyer is no longer the only one. In Portugal, Many manufacturers are now also currently having their first frames produced. It simply has to do with manufacturers wanting to make themselves a little more independent from Asia and actually shifting production back to Europe. Flyer is part of it and it is likely that there will be more models in the coming years that the Swiss manufacturer will have produced in Portugal. That's all for now about the Gotor EL and the new releases from Flyer for the upcoming season. On our YouTube channel, you can also see our own highlight video from Eurobike 2024. So drop by, subscribe to the channel, and you won't miss any new videos. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again soon. Take care until then.